Hey everybody, I would do my full intro, but to be honest, I'm really not in the mood. I've been uh, working my butt off for the last two weeks, and when you guys saw me do the Power Play series with um, all those videos of the Congress, Shinobi, Warlord, and all that, etc., I believe. That was just when I had the four day weekend with Labor Day and all that. And it's pretty good because I was getting tons of videos out. And I still have one edited fully ready to go. Just don't have the time to post it. It's probably going to get posted today, though, to be honest. Whether I like it or not. But uh, I just want to tell you guys that I've been going to school, going to a football practice. And I'm on the football team, which it has been my dream for the longest. I've always been told I'm built for it, and I've always liked it since I was little. But, uh, that shit, I'm gonna drop it. And, uh, I have made a promise to myself. Well, technically, I made two. For the first time, I was in first grade, I said I never cheated on a girl. That was one. And the thing is, I'm surprised I'm still holding that promise. But <laughs> my second promise was to give everything I got into everything I do. So when people ask me, why are you sweating all the time? There's either two answers. Either I'm out of shape or I'm trying my hardest. So I really just want to say that I'm sorry if I can't get as many videos out as I can. Just know I do want to. And know that I'm trying my hardest to be able to give you guys the best quality videos that I simply can. I like the support, no matter how much it is. Just by seeing views, it makes me happy that somebody watched my gameplay. Somebody. Somebody hopefully enjoyed it. But, you know, the world is a cool place. I'm not saying that I'm blaming a world that is cruel that I don't give views. No, it's just... You know, sometimes things don't go as you want them to. So, I'm going to explain to you guys a little fear of mine. I, well, technically three. The third fear is I can't really look people in the eye so hard. It's not that I'm shy. It's just, it's like I'm looking into their soul. Not to be all creepy, but no, it's just I cannot stare somebody in the eye for a long time. It just feels not weird but it just feels i don't know i just can't do it i've been getting used more and more to it because simply if you can't look somebody in the eye how are they able to really trust you you know so i kind of have to beat that fear my top one fear is hell obviously but my number two one is giving up and trust me that may sound cheesy and i know full well but it's true I don't want to give up. I really don't. Not in anything I do. Not on people. And not on especially myself. I used to hate when people give up. It'd be like, you had all this potential and you just didn't use it. Or you could have just did this and that. But I can't pick choices for people, you know? No matter how I see it, there's always different variations of people's thoughts and how they take things. So nobody's going to be like me. Well, nobody's gonna be, well, I, want, I don't want to say perfect because I'm really not, but nobody is perfect. We're humans. I have been so sore from football practice, pushing myself to the limit to improve. And to be honest, it's tearing me apart. I come back home, my hands bloodied, battered, Wake up, dry blood all over my fingers. It's hard to scratch it off. Scabs developing under my skin. So I have to peel the skin and then tear off the scab, which all in itself hurts a good lot. But never once have I popped a painkiller or even used ice out, which to be honest, ice out would probably be a pretty good thing to use. I mean, technically it's not drugs. I mean, technically it is drug. In a medical, oh my God. in a medical term, but you know what I mean. I just, I just been pushing myself. You know, 
even though my number one fear is giving up, along with, I mean, not my number one fear, but my number two fear is giving up, it really ties to what I don't want to happen in the future. I don't care if I end up having to struggle into the future, because to be honest, I really would have to struggle. That's just how it's going to be. But I'm going to look you in the eye and tell you that my top number two fear is that I'm old, not extremely old, but I'm older, and I look back and be like, I could have gave more. And that right there is my number two fear. I would hate that feeling. I want to look back on the past and I want to say, there's nothing else I could have done in that moment. I give it my all. And to be honest, whether I want or not, I still achieved my goal. And ever since middle school, that's pretty much what's been happening. I mean, it's been happening before middle school too. Like, I was in like sixth grade and up. As soon as I got to the middle school, I was like, I cannot be playing no games. And um, a lot of good stuff has been happening. I can honestly, God, I can honestly say God has been blessing me because a lot of good stuff has been happening. But I'm still giving it my all. I'm still trying. Still breaking my back. And still hitting that bed as soon as my face touched fully on that bed. I am sleep until tomorrow where I do it all again. And then I go back to bed and I do it all again and again and again. Motivation. I have motivation. I really do. My family, my family is my motivation. God is my motivation. And simply my goals are my motivation. I want to get stronger. And that's all motivation I need. I'm going to honestly tell you that when I set my mind to it, I can do it. I can really do it. But It's after a while that it really just starts to run out of me. I've been getting too sore and I've been getting lots of, uh, well, not lots of cramps, but I've been getting cramps at bad times. Let me say that. And coaches always say, like, push through it, push through it. Keep working hard, work hard. You know, you got this, fight through it. And the, the first few times I was like, all right, I'm fighting through it. Next time I was like, it's getting a little bit harder. And now while I'm at this point where I just ran through like three games, it's starting to wear down on me, my on my body, and I'm afraid I won't be able to give it a hundred percent. Even though I would be trying my hardest at that moment to give it a hundred percent, I probably won't be able to, and that would be achieving my fear. To end off this video, because to be honest, I don't even have time. If you guys are Mark Applier fans, Mark Applier fans, he dropped a video recently talking about his most pain and I can tell you when I was on the football field my worst pain wasn't when the guy stepped on my hands with his cleats and he dug into my skin tearing it it wasn't when somebody stepped on both of my legs with cleats man there's a lot of cleats related incidents incidents it wasn't when I jammed my thumb and it still kind of hurt from that first day of football practice no it really wasn't all that Pain, I define, could be mental or physical. The worst pain I have ever felt was when I was doing, um, I forgot what they call it, but let's just say gases or Arizonas. And we had to run up the, uh, up the yard, down. And so yeah, I run 50 yards up and down, and that's 200 yards right there. I'm pretty sure I ran like 800 yards yesterday. Um... It's when I was at the 600 yard line. Like I just got done doing one. And I fell to the ground. And I was like, I'm gonna give up. I was like, I can't do it no more. I'm like, I was said to myself, I've been doing this for days, days, and I want to get better, but I just cannot do this. I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't even stand. How am I gonna do the rest of these, what, rest of these uh, 200, 200 yard gashes at full speed? Because if you don't do it at full speed, they're going to make you do it again. I was like, I can't do it. The guy grabbed my uh, pad and lifted me up. He was trying to uh, make me get some air. He was tearing my pad open. I mean, not tearing it open, but he was like unraveling it. 
trying to make me get some air into my lungs. I really couldn't breathe. I really was going to fall out. And when we was doing plays before that, the mouth guard was too far in my mouth. And it was like making me gag. It almost made me feel like I was going to throw up. And when you're getting hit, it's, it does not help. Okay? It definitely does. does whatever. I don't want to do that long. I can deal with all that. But I can't deal with giving up. That's one thing I can't deal with. Maybe think out of all the things you just got on game day, you got hit in the stomach, head, heart, uh, uh, what do you call it? Full speed in the stomach with the helmet and left me winded for those next few uh, few plays. I even ran to the sideline and I was like, Coach, I'm tired. I just got hit hard right here. Like my stomach, man, I'm out of breath. I can't even do the next plays. And if I can, I can't do them correctly. You know? But. He said something to me, looked me in the eye, I was like, Woods, that's actually my last name, Woods, places under my shoulder pad. It was like, there ain't nobody else. I was like, what? I'm look like, I got, what you call it, I got um, the people that also play the line. But he looked at me, I was like, there ain't nobody else. There may be them over there, but they haven't been practicing hard like you do. I was like, what do you mean? Everybody gives it 100%, right? And after that, after I said that, it hit me. They don't give it 100%. Or if they do, it's at least not all of them. And I was like, just because I'm giving 100% doesn't mean that my team is giving 100%. It hit me again. This is a team sport. Obviously, I knew this. But when it fully hits you, you get the, you get the whole picture. I was like, this is a team sport. A person can be giving it a hundred percent, but if his allies don't do the same, it doesn't matter. You may be the only one still standing after they get dropped down to the uh dropped down to the ground and trucked, but it doesn't matter. Because eventually the dudes that truck them down the ground are just gonna come over to you and then you're gonna get teamed up on. And that's just gonna be it. No matter how hard you're trying to fight it. Obviously, that didn't happen to me because my team takes it seriously. But not everybody on my team gave it uh, gives practice 100. percent There's people I can honestly say I did not want to go to practice these last two weeks, and there was people that looked like they were more pumped up than I was to go to practice. And I love football. I love it. It's my it's my sport since I was little. But they gave up after a few losses. First loss, there was some people that gave up. Second loss, it was noticeable. Third loss, I don't think a noticeable amount of people gave up. And if it keeps going like this, no matter how hard I try, I won't be able to play in the series. I won't be able to give it 100%. I won't be able to make my school proud. I won't be able to let my dad see me hit like he always wanted to. He's trying his best to get to my games, but to be honest, work gets in the way. And I can't blame him for that. Even my uncle said, I want you to hit somebody. And my uncle came to my practice one day, cheered me on, you know. Made me made me get that fourth win. I can't even say second win because I was already out of wins. <laughs> Not wins, W-I-N-S, W-I-N-D. Man, my family really does care about me, you know. And it kills me that some people don't have family that care about them. People that your own flesh and blood made from, well, not from you, obviously. Oh, it probably is. Depending on which family member we're really speaking of. Made by the same blood as you. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't have the best physical body. I'm getting my, um, I'm getting my six pack back. Uh, my, um, my, um, my upper body strength is improving and to be honest that's a lot because I had already had good upper body strength my calves are starting to get better but I can honestly say that people are bigger than me and I'm looking like I got hit by one guy on Riverside took all the breath up on me I hit that ground and I looked up and I was like I can't no teammate helped me get up because to be honest 
it's like this. You got to keep on heading back to the line after a play is done. So, yeah. But I was like, I just closed my eyes. And I was like, man, I won't be able to beat these dudes. And then I opened my eyes again. I got up. And I wasn't even thinking about it. I just got up. And I rested on my uh, legs. I'm just like, I don't know how I'm standing. don't know how I'm breathing. don't know how I'm thinking. I'm look, I looked at um, the guy that was ahead of me. I was like, there's one simple thing I can get from this. To win this game, I have to beat my man. The guy in front of me, I will not let him through. Even if this dude has to step over me, I'm still going to grab his leg. <laughs> at that moment, some miraculous happened. He was trucking me this whole game. When they said, well, I don't remember exactly what they said. When they said hut, and I hit him with all the strength I had left. Talk about full arms extended, full leaning forward, all the way on. He didn't move an inch. And after I did that, another flashback came. And it was like when Coach kept telling me to truck my feet. I was like, boom. Started trucking them. And then um, I finished. What you call it? This is when you throw, throw. I did that and he fell to the ground. At that moment, I was gassed. <laughs> I was like, this dude just put up so much resistance. But um, when I uh, looked up, because I fell to my knees, when I looked up, I saw my uh, a running back come through the uh, opening I made in the line and went straight to the touchdown. And it wasn't like we was touching the touchdown, no. We was like a good 80 yards back. It made me proud. I didn't care about the pain I was enduring from my finger getting busted from putting it and jamming into his pads. I didn't care about that. All I cared about at that moment is that I just made my school happy. And I just improved by a lot. I'm like, I can't give up if I wanted to. There's people that had way more spirit than I have. I didn't want to come to every practice because I'm sore. These dudes didn't just, they just gave up. I'm like, you guys probably have more spirit than I do. I don't know how you're giving up like this. One thing for sure, I won't ever give up. That's not my, that's not even my mind. That's not even a choice. I can't. How happy I saw my dad his smile when I told him I made it on my football team and achieved one of my goals already in high school it was just so bright my family's reaction my grandmother's reaction to me playing on a football field like I said I was and making that promise to my uncle that I made that I said I was going to go off for football how he looked That's enough motivation to keep me going all year. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for listening, you know? Sometimes you, need, you just need somebody to vent to. But uh, if you want to um, see any of these videos, I guess you could comment or like. Because I have a lot of stories. Even though this really wasn't kind of like a story time, it was whatever. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.